each day will either be an A day or a B day. A days are going to be on Mondays and Tuesdays. On an A day, we have periods 1, 2, and 3. So you can see here you have period 1 from 8.30 to 9.40 a.m. We have a 15-minute break. Then we go to period 2, 15-minute break. And then we have period 3 from 11.20 to 12.30 p.m. We have a, a scheduled lunch um, just for you to take a break, eat, like kind of rejuvenate yourself before going back into schoolwork. So from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock, that is going to be your time to do your student work. And it's your individual time that you will not have any class scheduled during 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock on A days. Uh, staff will have office hours so you can reach out to staff or staff might reach out to you uh, and there might be counseling appointments as needed during this time as well. And if you look at Tuesday, Tuesday is the exact same except there might be another class zero hour. Some students have a seventh class that they take uh, and that would be during this time zero hour. B days are on Thursdays and Fridays and it's the exact same schedule time-wise except you have period four, period five, and period six on these days. Monday always going to be A day, Tuesday always going to be A day. The first day of school is a Thursday and we will actually have an A day that day. So September 3rd we will have an A day so you'll have first, second, and third and then Friday, we'll, we'll start the B days for Fridays. And the rest of the uh, time that we're doing remote teaching, Thursdays will be B. Take note of Wednesday. On Wednesdays, you have uh, the week of September 8th, you'll have an A day. And it goes back and forth between A and B every other week. So what this looks like, again, Wednesday, A day, you have periods 1, periods 2, and periods three on an A day on a Wednesday. Sometimes we might do advisory. So this is what the schedule would look like then. You'd have period one, then you have an HSB time, which is just our advisory time with your assigned advisor, period two, and then period three. Now, if it's a B day on a Wednesday, you just have period four, five, and six. So it will probably, it will just go back and forth. And again, you'd have period four, HSB, period five, and then period six. You should go to your Outlook calendar in order to find uh, the link to your online class. So Outlook is this icon right here, and you can search it if needed. Your email is under this tab, but you'll wanna click this calendar button to get to your calendar. Your teachers have sent you links and you can see them on your Outlook calendar. Say it's Monday, September 7th, and I need to get into my period one class. You're gonna double click your calendar invite, say okay. And at the bottom, it will say join Microsoft Teams meeting. You're going to click this and Microsoft Teams, this icon will pop up. You'll want to mute your microphone, but have your video on when able. And then you'll just say, join now. Right now it's just a meeting with just me, but hopefully you'll see about 30 other students uh, and your teacher, and you'll see each other's faces and be able to do online learning there. And this will be just for period one, the link I, I went to. When you're done with the meeting, you'll say leave. And you can go back to your calendar. And maybe after the uh, break, I need to join period two. So I double click period two. And I, again, it's gonna be a different link, but you'll still click join Microsoft Teams meeting. Whoop. You'll mute yourself when you first join. Have your video on and you'll say join now. One tip for remote learning is to plan a daily routine. 
to ensure you have enough time for working, studying, classes, and your other daily activities. Hi, another tip you can use in your remote daily learning is to make sure that you're always checking your email since that's gonna be the main form of communication and to always have a positive attitude. My tip for remote learning is to make sure that in between each class, you get up, stretch, um, get some water, just to make sure that you don't overwork your brain while being at your computer all day.